Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. This afternoon, I wanted to show you one quick thing. I was down here making videos earlier today and I was just dripping with sweat. I finally mostly dried off in front of a fan. Had a big glass of ice water. I had a little snack bag of Fritos. Can you believe that? One of our lovely viewers sent us a Balak Bion box from the States for our other channel for my because he likes my wife and her family. And uh, he sent me a box of Fritos inside there. <laughs> so nice. I can't get them here. I can't get pretzels here either. It's really kind of frustrating. But um, <laughs> Change the subject. I, I came down here today to do a, a not video. I watched a video today of a channel called Vinny's Day Off. And he had a um, not called... The Butcher's Jam Knot, and he said he doesn't know any other name for it. I don't. I don't know any other name for it. I've after I watched that, it's like I, I've seen the butcher tie that a thousand times around the the paper packages, and <laughs> it's 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 a, it's a good knot. So I'll just pass it on to you guys. I've never used it before in my entire life. Um, Should have. I've. I've, I've it's great for like tying up bundles of firewood and stuff like that. I, I should have used it a thousand times, but I did. Didn't really know about it, so. All right. All I have for cordage is some craft cord. I used to use it for making bracelets and things like that, back before I had any access to paracord. It's a good good cord, but it's, it's, it's stretchy until you stretch it out, then it's pretty good. So the, um, Vinny's day off, he had some real nice regular twine the only twine stuff I have is like jute twine. I'm not going to use that for that for this. So what you do is for the butcher's jam knot, you put your put your cordage behind behind your pile. Line your two cords up next to each other, and then. Just go over the top and make a like a you're gonna make a slip knot, but wrap it around one, two, two or three times. I'm gonna go three times because my cordage isn't very good. And then pull it tight. That's gonna give you a nice kind of a grabbing slip knot. Slide your slip knot down. You can slide it forward and then pull it back. Gives you the mechanical advantage. Then all you do is, he, he took his fingers, that's quite how he did his fingers. He did his fingers kind of like that, made a loop, like that I guess, made a loop. Just, just easy to say, make a, make a, a clockwise loop, <laughs> it's much easier than, than that. Stick the tag in through, go over the knot, snug it up tight, clockwise loop, go over the tag in the loop. Hey buddy, what you doing? Come down to see what I'm doing? Like that. Hey, how you doing pal? You're a good boy. Now you can see right now that knot, that knot is just bound down tight. Uh, let's try that again. I finally got it down in my head now finally. I made a video a little while ago. Oh, you're such a good boy. I might even put a clip on it of it at the end to show you how stupid I really am. Um, I tried to do it from watching it one time after I watched it one time and then did a bunch of stuff for about four hours and then came down and tried to do this video and I wasn't even close to it. So put your put your line behind your bundle, okay? What? What do you want? Huh? <laughs> put your line behind the bundle. Line your two your two ropes up together. Okay? Take your tag in and go over the top and go around once twice I'm going around three times and then snug everything up slide your slip knot together slide it forward pull it back it'll bind up real nice gives you a ton, a ton of mechanical advantage there then take your 
standing end, give it a, a clockwise loop, pull the tag end through, clockwise loop, put the tag end through, pull her up tight. Now that knot's locked down tight, it's not going to go anywhere at all. Actually, this is a fantastic little knot. I'm going to put this in my bag of tricks because this is a this is a knot right here that I, I'm gonna I'm real comfortable with right now. I'm gonna use it for sure. It's it's quite a good knot. I'll give it one more time for the fun of it. Put the line behind your flies here. Behind your bundle. Okay. Put your two ropes together. Like this, line them up together. Get a little slack, I guess. Take your tag end over the top. And just do an overhand knot basically. Go around once, twice. I'm going around three times. This is just like a fishing knot. He had the name of it. Then all I'm going to do is pull it tight, slide it down to where I want it, slide it and pull it back on itself. It just tightens it right up. Make a clockwise loop. Pull the tag through, snug up that half hitch, clockwise loop, pull the tag through, pull it up tight. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Now, I don't know if I can do it here or not for you. Maybe I can do it in your in your view. Okay, I'm going to put my bundle on top of my line. I'm going to bring the line back parallel to the other line. Okay, I'm just going to take this and go over the top. Let's see. I'm just going to go over the top and make a overhand knot just like that you see that I'm gonna go through once I'm gonna go through twice I'm gonna go through three times just like that I'm just gonna snug it up by pulling this side over here snug it up tight easier just to slide it down with your finger then roll it up pull it back on itself super tight then make a clockwise loop, pull the tag in through, cinch it down, clockwise loop, over the tag line, and cinch it down. Cut her off and you got a one nice jammed up knot. You're not going to be untying that. I can tell you that you want them off. You're going to be you're going to be cutting them. So that's no big deal either. But that's what a jam knot's all about. It's supposed to be jamming. He also did a did a, a comparison with the Canadian jam knot, and he oh, let me stand up straight here. What's oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at it. He got a dog pulling on a root here for some reason. Um, he did a Canadian jam knot also, and he said he didn't like the way no one ever shows how to tie off the Canadian jam knot. Now, I've never used a Canadian jam knot in my life either. I've got a friend here in the Philippines, an English guy, that showed it to me. He didn't call it a Canadian jam knot, he had a different name for it, but. So, um, he used to tie his goats up with it. What he liked about it was it would cinch down tight and the goat pulling on it could never pull it loose. But when he wanted to get it undone, all he had to do was pull on the tag and it would unjam and it could un untie it very easy. Um, I I've never had a use for it. I've got other, other knots for that same thing. I, do, I tie slippery half hitch type knots and then use the loop to snug it up. When I'm done, I just undo the loop and pull it out. It just takes, one, takes me one or two seconds. That's the knot I use. Uh, but he, uh, Vinny, Vinny's day, Vinny's day off, he also showed how to tie that 
down the the Canadian jam night jam not down you might go look at his videos if you want he had a nice channel and uh, I don't mean to be stealing your idea of any but I I'm a knot guy I see a good knot I pass it on to as many people as I can uh, that the the butchers the butchers jam knot is a fantastic knot and I will be using it in the future for sure for especially for tying up bundles of stuff it's absolutely fantastic for that it's, there's there's I can't see a knot to be better than that I've got other knots that I used to use to tie up bundles but that knot there's if, if it was going to be rope that I'm going to use like twine or this craft string that I'm going to throw away that that's the best knot I found if, if I'm going to be using a knot that I uh, rope that I have to keep using well I would never use that knot I would use my other style knot where I can just pull it loose when I'm done and then my just keep reusing the rope but for using twine or string or whatever you're going to use for wrapping up packages or meat packages or bundles of firewood or weeds or whatever you're going to use it'd be a good one to start up for brooms and stuff um, good knot could not. That's all I can, that's all I can say. I, I got nothing else to say about it. Fantastic little knot. Uh, try it a couple times. Use it. I don't know if I did a good enough job of demonstrating it. I think the last demonstration where the camera was facing the knot from behind, maybe you, you, you got the gist of it a little better. And uh, I usually try to film over my shoulder, but I, I can't right now. And I've tried to film under me reaching over the camera I can't do that right now my my lower back is just killing me if I lean over at all so I just did the best I could for you and that's all I have for now I'm sitting here enjoying the woods listening to the birds I got some chickens off behind me scratching through a bunch of bunch of junk and I want to say thanks everybody for watching please click like and subscribe you can contact us anytime at blindowloutdoors at gmail.com. That's also the email for our other channel, Blind Owl Outdoors. And come over and look at that if you want. I've had one person say they've come over and looked at it. I'm sure some of the other ones, some of the other guys might have checked it out or not. I don't know. But there's over 5,200 videos of our life in the Philippines with a probably 300 or so, or 400 of bushcraft videos on there. But I'll slowly get those videos over on blind owl bushcraft and survival for you guys you only have one place to go you'll know the old ones when you see my wife my daughter's 13 years old right now you'll see my daughter being six and seven years old in the videos if she's in them that'd be the easiest tell whether they're old or not I look pretty much the same but uh have a great day get outside have some fun go for a walk go fishing Make a fire, that's what I like to do. And by all means, be safe. See you later.